what's good everyone right now I'm out here in downtown Charleston South Carolina and I'm at the site of an abandoned Wendy's you can see where the sign would have been right up there and this clearly clearly looks like a Wendy's if you've ever seen a Wendy's in the early like 20 I guess 2000s but I was a little kid then so early 2010s a lot of Wendy's still look like this although they started remodeling them then and they've really like built them out like for example if you see a modern modern Wendy's that wasn't built from the ground up as a new one they just remodeled a lot of the older ones and like just built around the old iconic facade crazy that to think that you're gonna see this kind of design on a Wendy's only on an abandoned location with as much as they're trying to remodel the uh, the other ones in fact I can't remember the last time I saw a Wendy's that looked like this, unless it was a Nick's Guy Rose in Phillies. <laughs> At least they're on the Charleston area. Two Wendy's, former Wendy's that I know of, were bought out and reused as Nick's Guy Rose in Phillies. I'm not sure why that was, but for whatever reason, this one didn't, or it never, or maybe it was and it closed or something. I have no idea. But in my mind, in my knowledge, this has been Wendy's and now it's not. So with that said. Let's check it out. Alright. So I actually just filmed... Um, oh, that's such a beautiful car, the Veloster. I want one so bad. Anyway, um... <laughs> had to catch it in the shot. <laughs> oh, I didn't even know there was a KFC over there. I, I knew there was a Taco Bell, but... Zoom in so you can see it. KFC. And then there's a Taco Bell on the other side of the sign right through there that you might be able to tell. Anyway... Sadly, we're not going to be able to see, or maybe we might actually be able to see through the drive-thru. Okay, cool. Because there's not a lot that you can see uh, on this one because of all the boards and stuff that's on it. Step back to give you all a look of the building from this way, but this is interesting. I've never really, I haven't had this happen to me since that Wells Fargo that I filmed last March, I believe, and it's now demolished. So let's see, can we see anything through here, through this daggum window? I don't know what that says, but let's see if we can view anything in there. Oh, can we? Uh, no. That'd be a negative. All right. I really don't want to bother this van. Um, there's no one in there, but I don't want to, you know, tick somebody off about it. <clears throat> Okay, make sure there's nothing in there. Oh, yes, I think we can see in there. Okay, good. Uh, I probably picked a bad spot. How about up here? Dad, gum it. All right, there we go. Wow. You know, I've never seen inside of this building, so this is a first for me as well. It honestly looks as if there is like I know it's hard to tell when I take the camera away from because it's gonna be a really bad glare but there's pieces of wood all around the entire window like right here well you can't really see it that well but here's like an outline there's wood there's a piece of wood and yep I think this was a Wendy's because look at that that oh four this has been here that long? You're... What? For the safety of our customers and staff, we were unable to serve walk-up customers. I saw that at McDonald's the other day. Uh, this Wendy's restaurant is G-rated, so they're an OG. Yeah. <laughs> Employees and guests of all ages are welcome and promise a curious and enjoyable experience. Wendy's old-fashioned hamburgers. Wind Partners in 2004. That is why I absolutely love doing this. That's crazy. 04? Wow. Now this is now I don't know if it closed in 04, but we know that it was a Wendy's and it wasn't anything else, I'm pretty sure, or else that would probably be gone. That's crazy. Now I don't think this opens. Nope, it's locked. And then it's really scratched up, so it's hard to see anything in there. Yeah. Pretty tough to see anything. You can yeah, it's really bad. I do apologize everyone, but here's a look at the drive through window. And then they had this little apron thing above it, which is covered in mold. And then here's a part of the Wendy's facade. I'm gonna get away from this van now because uh, I don't wanna look like I'm doing anything to it. Um, 
I don't know what this was. I guess maybe it was an advertisement for some specials. Clearly, it was supposed to be lighted at one point in time. There's an abomination of Coors Light and water bottles and stuff. And then I'll give us a brief look inside of here. And we can see a little bit better inside of this old place. Look at that, man. Look at the stuff coming out of the wall. Or coming off of the wall, rather. And then it looks like there's a piece of, like, insulation up at the top of the ceiling that's falling down as well. Dude, this is this is why I love doing this stuff, man. I've never seen inside of this building before. And although it's really difficult to see it to the naked eye, the camera has a beautiful shot inside of there. <laughs> you can see this sort of said B vitamins. Let's see what it said on the top. V8 splash orange strawberry antioxidant C and B vitamins and then this okay now that was just stuck on there then that wasn't from Wendy's cool what okay I'm not sure why that's stuck to my shoe but all right here's a just a gorgeous Tahoe <laughs> or maybe it's a suburb suburban yep suburban cool all right oh <laughs> uh, yeah I don't want to bother these vans because it, it looks limo service and stuff I don't want to you know give anyone reason to think I'm doing something I shouldn't be uh. <laughs> but dad gum look at this this is absolutely destroyed and if you ever wondered what a Wendy's facade looked like when it was built or like what the framing of it looked like there you go I know it's difficult to see in the actual in inner parts of it but look at that man I've never seen that before because usually it's all covered up but all it is is just wood and paneling I guess and bricks I guess. Don't quote me on it, though. I'm not really sure. <laughs> All right. So this would have probably been the dumpster area for this old place. That would have been maybe a freezer or something. I'm guessing maybe or maybe in there would have been a freezer stuck. <laughs> and, you know, the crazy part is it honestly looks like the door is open. I honestly I, th I think it is. But there's a brick in front of here and there was a no trespassing sign on the front of the building. So for that reason, already used to it for that reason i'm not going to mess with that and i apologize i hope you all do understand but as much as i'd love to go in there the conditions don't look the greatest this place probably closed in like maybe 08 07 maybe maybe and uh looks like it's been in some rough shape ever since then so as much as i'd love to go inside there i'm not going to do that and i'm going to respect what the sign says and uh leave it be so maybe one day anyway here is i don't know what this would have been maybe a generator not generator but a power to miss circuit breaker i'm not really sure and uh yeah well if you ever uh wanted to admire i mean look at this look at this artwork here i mean that really really adds to the natural beauty of a wendy's man that that it just man like if you ever wanted to see something so majestic and beautiful it would be a wendy's but if you wanted to see something really just so much more beautiful than that it is this wonderful Hyundai Sonata <laughs> oh man I'm a Hyundai fan so I can't help it but <laughs> oh man you saw me mention the Veloster as well God, God, that wind is really bad but yeah this would have been the entrance to the uh, restaurant you could eat in the dining dining room and stuff but there's no seeing on this side and uh, that's that so Again, Hyundai Sonata in its natural habitat. <laughs> oh man, that Durango actually looks pretty good though in red. But anyway, um, that's going to wrap it up out here. I mean, there's really nothing to see. I know this was kind of just a quick walk around, but at least we got to see a little inside of this building. There's a McDonald's and there's a part of the downtown Charleston, I guess, skyline, you could call it, with the Holiday Express and that that looks abandoned actually i don't know what that is but yeah that that actually really does look abandoned i'm not sure what that building is in front of you all the pink looking building that you see the graffiti at the top of it i might have to do some uh some info on that just to see what that is anyway that's gonna wrap it up out here for me at this abandoned wendy's out here in downtown charleston south carolina i hope you all enjoyed the video for what it is if you did please be sure to give the video a like comment dislike it's all feedback and criticism for me, so I really appreciate that. And until next time, from this abandoned Wendy's, thank you all for watching. Thank you all for being a part of the Z-Man family. 
Be sure to support me on uh, social media at Z-Man underscore retail on all social media platforms. You can see some uh, sneak peeks or some things that don't go on YouTube if you'd, if you'd prefer to see that. I really uh, would appreciate that support as well. And yeah, from this abandoned Wendy's, rock and roll cowboy. <laughs> uh, I actually just did an abandoned Hardee's and now I'm at an abandoned Wendy's. So, tale of the D. Uh oh. I might, I actually might cut that out. <laughs> I did not realize how uh, weird I mean, that sounds. Okay. Yeah, it's time for me to go now. Um, I hope you all enjoyed the video. Um, rock and roll cowboy. <laughs> uh, I was going to sing, but I'm not going to do it. Nope, I'm not going to embarrass myself like that. <laughs> uh, ooh la la, Walmart indeed, yeah. <laughs> And the Sonata and the Veloster. We're just having fun out here, man. But there's one more look at the Wendy's. See you all later. With the Wendy's in the background. Peace.